isn't he not a son of so-and-so where does he get all his wisdom from all of a sudden you know didn't i not go to school with her where does she get all our powers from all of a sudden did I not see this person in this place many years ago and now he's saying he's the chosen one? Oh my god it must be a scam chosen let me be frank with you when your time comes you know whether you're trying to run for office whether you're trying to stop start a youtube channel it doesn't matter what kind of change you want to make the first person or the first people that will reject you will be people around you you know what i mean and some of this reason is legitimate some of it is jealousy you know what i mean therefore when you feel like your time is coming guys you must make a shift you must move from the place you're born especially if you're from a small uh, a small town or a small city you know what i mean this is critical why at the beginning of your, of your journey this will discourage you you know what i'm saying guys as they say the best time to destroy something is when it's beginning to germinate therefore guys this is a critical for you to make this shift you know what i mean today guys i want to share with you reasons why god's chosen shall never be accepted by his family her family or by the people around them yeah let's go <laughs> Hello, beautiful people of the world. This is Alula, and welcome to Awaken the Ego Within Chosen Ones. If you haven't subscribed by now, you're missing out. Check me out on Insta at Awaken the Ego. The link is on the channel. Reasons why you shall never be accepted in your hometown, you know, by your family, by your friends. You know what I'm saying, chosen? When your time comes. <clears throat> Therefore, you must make a move. The thing about the chosen ones is like chosen ones. We come from an unlikely place, unlikely background, and sometimes from unlikely families. You know what I mean? So the best thing to do, guys, when your time comes, is to move away from your home city or your hometown especially if you come from a small town where everybody knows each other and this kind of place guys you're gonna be discouraged so easy and some of you might even give up on the life that God has for you you know what I mean like some time ago I met this young girl you know what I mean she was so vibrant and she was ready to learn and she says to me alula i really like your videos now she's telling me this in front of her brother you know what i mean now when she was telling me this in front of her brother her brother says this and he says to her you're african and it sounds like he's speaking on hinduism or something like that when he said that I could see this little girl being discouraged and she even stopped talking about the things she was talking about you know what i mean i felt like i wanted to interfere and say something but then i didn't <clears throat> you know what i mean that got me thinking guys chosen when your time comes you shall not only be met by your doubts but you also people around you will doubt you 
which will add more pressure to you which will make it easy for you to give up guys therefore you must move to a place where it's new to you you must move to a place where nobody knows you and let me tell you now this is for a good reason in fact chosen ones are from a certain place but then they are sent for different different people but funny enough this thing is a little bit like dating <laughs> you know what i'm saying remember the girl that you always wanted or something like that or a guy you always wanted and that was rejecting you rejecting you and then they would meet you sometime later when you become your best self and now those people they begin to like you but at that time guys you don't want them <laughs> It's kind of like that, guys, as the chosen one. At the beginning of your journey, guys, many, many people, especially people from your town, people from your ethnicity, you know what I mean? People from your tribe, those people will be the first to reject you. But don't worry about that, though. God has prepared new people, people that you don't even know, people who are on the other side of the tracks for you guys and let me tell you something as long as you stick to it this mission of yours shall be fulfilled let me tell you something chosen but you got to make this move <clears throat> why should you make this move guys from your hometown from your family or sometimes if you can't make this move guys be quiet about it because these people will reject you you know what i mean sometimes it's not even their fault you know what i mean what is the first reason you, sh you should make this move chosen because you are so unfamiliar to the people that you're born amongst <clears throat> you know what i mean the thing about the chosen ones is like we are so different from the environment that we were born in you know what i mean it's like we've been sent there to change that environment but now when your time comes you will begin to get these downloads and then you will sound so unfamiliar to these people you might as well be speaking a different language people will not understand what you're saying people around you will not relate to the things that you talk about <clears throat> you know what i mean therefore they will begin to discourage you they'll tell you things like what the hell are you talking about you know sometimes they will even say you're mad you're crazy and guys if you're not strong enough in the mind this will discourage you guys You know what I mean? When you begin to share what's on your heart, that will, you're going to be met with a lot of opposition at the beginning of your journey. Now, is this jealousy? Sometimes yes, but sometimes no. You know what I mean? Because people are not familiar with the things that you talk about. Why? Because you're the chosen one. Why? Because you're a different one, guys. You know what I mean? You are like that tree that shines bright in the middle of the forest. Even though all these trees look the same, there's one tree there that looks completely different. That is why you're the chosen one, guys. But in time, they will see the truth. They shall know you're the chosen one. But at that time, guys, it will be too late. You know what I'm saying? You got to make this move chosen because some of them can see greatness in you some of them hate to see what you're going to become some of them know if you continue the way you do it's just a matter of time before your greatness comes as it will be as it should be but guess what this thing will not be welcomed by people around you this thing shall not be welcomed by your fam why is that is it human nature 
I guess it is if you're not chosen. <laughs> I guess it is if you have a weak mind. I guess it is if you're not living according to your potential. You know what I mean? As they say, guys, misery will always need company. You know what I mean? Instead of people around you, especially your family, instead of them celebrating your success or celebrating you, guys, people will turn around and discourage you. You know what I mean? Funny enough, when Barack Obama was running for the presidency in 2008, you know what I mean? The first people that said that America is not ready for a black president. It was black people. Do you see what I'm saying, guys? They said it'd be better if Barack Obama was a vice president. But look how it turned out to be. You know what I mean? Now, at first, the people that saw his potential was white people. That does not mean that those black African Americans did not see his potential. You know what I mean? Especially the ones like around, like power, the ones that had jobs in there. A lot of them were jealous. A lot of them saw if this person continues to say what he's saying, if this person continues to be given this platform, this person shall actually succeed. Let me tell you something, Chosen. Your family has always been known. You're great, guys. They've been seeing your greatness in glimpses and glimpses and glimpses. Even though you were living in trauma at that time, the light in you guys shines so brightly at times is, is like undeniable. But these people, you know what I mean? They'll rather hate rather than embrace your difference, guys. They'll rather hate rather than embrace you as a person. You know what I mean? That is why you got to move, guys. That is why you got to make this shift, especially if you're not, you know, you haven't really began to do your life's purpose guys once you begin to do things and you find people like following you not following you but like um how can i say this once you find people resonating with your message guys then your journey gets easier and easier and easier but as the beginning guys you need to make this shift in order for you to really be strong and keep pursuing your dream keep pursuing the person god meant for you to be guys you know what i'm saying a lot of you guys you have this imagination and don't think that's for nothing but guys in order for this imagination to become true you must make some sacrifices in your life and one of these sacrifices guys requires for you to isolate yourself for a little while that's why we continuously preach, chosen one should be alone, chosen one should be isolated, chosen one should focus on themselves, especially at the beginning of the time, guys. There's more to it than what we say, just guys. You know what I mean? As they say, to be easy, um, to be chosen, guys, is a blessing, but it's not easy. You know what I'm saying, guys? All right, have a good day. Bye-bye.